Hey guys, coming to you today from St. Peter's Square at the Vatican. It is a gorgeous sunny day here in May and I'm starting to see people dressing more and more for spring and even summer. So that's the subject of today's video, how you should dress and what you should wear when you visit the Vatican. So how you dress when you visit the Vatican is gonna come down to three factors. The first is being comfortable. The second is being safe. And the third is what they will allow you to wear or actually not allow you to wear when you go inside. The first one is comfortable shoes. You know, I'm always wearing my on clouds. I love them. Not a sponsored video, but I absolutely love my on clouds. I also have a pair of really comfortable Skechers shoes. Uh, whatever works for you that is comfortable, hopefully already broken in. You can absolutely wear sandals to visit the Vatican. No problem with that. I would suggest that you wear extremely comfortable walking sandals, not flip-flops, not something flimsy. You need to have really comfortable shoes for your legs and your feet. And then for the rest, you know, breathable fabrics, obviously, and depending on the season, you might want something for layering. But for the most part, it's, it's about comfortable shoes. The thing you could wear to be comfortable is a hat. As you're standing outside in the line to get in in this heat, you might want a hat to keep the sun away. Of course, you will have to take it off when you go inside the Sistine Chapel or St. Peter's Basilica. So inside the Vatican Museums, there are lots of places where you can buy bottled water. Inside St. Peter's Basilica and on St. Peter's Square, there's really nowhere to buy water. So you should come prepared with your own bottle. So can you bring a backpack with you into the Vatican? Yes, on the website it says no backpacks, but they are talking about large backpacks Backpacks, like camping size backpacks. If you have a regular size backpack like mine or like these backpacks that you'd wear to school, those are absolutely fine. You just have to pass them through security. In fact, I always wear a backpack when I visit the Vatican so I can have my hands free and I can keep a bottle of water and a jacket or a cardigan and all of my phone stuff and my battery charger. So I think a backpack is a great idea. Just make sure that it's a normal sized backpack. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, would you please go ahead and hit that like button below? Apparently it really helps with the algorithm and I would really appreciate it, thanks. So the next factor is security. And what do I mean by that? Well, the very first thing that I mean is pickpockets, how to stay safe from pickpockets. So you wanna wear clothing where you can easily hide or keep your belongings in a safe place, like a pickpocket proof backpack or pants that have a zipper or something like that. Just make sure that you are aware of your belongings and where they are on you at all times. Unfortunately, the Vatican and especially the Sistine Chapel are places where pickpockets find really, really ripe pickings. You know, people are distracted, they're looking around, they're not really paying attention to their personal space. And sometimes like in the Vatican Museums, you're getting jostled and so it would be very easy to be pickpocketed. So make it hard for them and make sure that you dress for your safety and for not getting pickpocketed. But besides protecting yourself from pickpockets, you should also consider wearing a hat, as I mentioned earlier, because if you're standing outside in the sun, you may want a hat to protect yourself from the heat, from the sun. Some people do have umbrellas, parasols, that's another option. You can bring those into the Vatican if they're the really uh, small travel kind. Okay, the last bit about visiting the Vatican and how to dress is how to dress so they will let you in. Now this one is all about modesty. So it's not about dressing up. You can wear jeans, you can wear sandals, as I mentioned, you can wear a t-shirt, but modesty is key. And by modest, what I mean and what they mean is no bare shoulders and no bare knees. And I think we can say that no bare midriffs is also part of that rule. Visiting Rome in spring, summer, fall, anytime there's this beautiful weather and you wanna walk around in shorts or uh, a skirt or dress and bare shoulders, it's fine to do so. You can walk around here in St. Peter's Square, but to go inside, you've gotta have covered knees and covered shoulders, so what do you do? Easiest thing to do is to just pop a scarf in your bag and you can cover your shoulders when you go inside, so that's for your shoulders. So in spring and fall, you're probably gonna want a cardigan or a light jacket anyway, and that's what that backpack is for. You can keep your cardigan or jacket in your backpack until you are cold or until you go inside. So what I'm about to tell you holds true for St. Peter's Basilica and for the Sistine Chapel. It's also true for pretty much any church anywhere in Rome or frankly Italy. And the same would also be true for visiting Rome's synagogue or mosque. The catacombs are considered a holy site and it's another place where you are going to have to dress modestly or they will not let you in. What about your knees? Now I have people constantly emailing me pictures of you know shorts that come to just above their knees or a dress that comes to just above their knees and they say you know is this okay i am here to tell you that i am not a vatican guard it is not up to me so if i were you 
coming all this way, I would not want to be turned away for not being properly dressed. I would suggest that if you're going to wear a skirt or a dress to make sure that it covers your knees, even a midi length. Also, if you're wearing shorts, I wouldn't really trust Bermuda shorts that come to just above your knee. I would bring something that covers your knee. One thing I really like are these hiking pants that I actually hike with. They have removable legs. So they have a zipper that comes just around the thigh level and then you can just zip off uh, the bottom and walk around in shorts as much as you want. And then when you go someplace where you need to have covered knees, you can put those bottoms back on and then take them back off again when you leave. So frankly, I have been around Rome and I have seen people wearing all kinds of uh, dress and getting into churches without anybody saying anything to them. So you will see this too and you'll wonder, well, how come they're allowed to? So in a lot of cases, uh, many churches just don't have the staff to have somebody standing by the door and telling people, no, you can't come in unless you are dressed properly. Here at the Vatican, you are going to have to be properly dressed to enter St. Peter's Basilica. You are also going to have to be properly dressed to enter the Sistine Chapel. Some years ago, I was walking around the Vatican Museums and I saw people dressed in, you know, short shorts and bare shoulders and I thought, what is going on? And I asked a guard about this. And he said, basically, it is about the Sistine Chapel. The museums are not a holy place. So in theory, you can dress pretty much as you like inside of the museum. So if you're hot and you don't want to have covered shoulders, you could dress uh, with bare shoulders inside the museums. But as soon as you get to the Sistine Chapel, you will have to cover up. So for this reason, when you go into the Vatican Museums, museums, the guards will not let you in unless you can show that you have the proper attire that you can use when you enter the Sistine Chapel later on. The Pantheon is another special place in Rome that requires proper dress, believe it or not. It is a church and many times in summer I have seen them turning people away because they have bare shoulders or bare knees. But I don't always see this, so it seems kind of like luck of the draw. So my suggestion for you is that as you walk around Rome, uh, especially in the summer when it's really hot and you do not want to have a cardigan or some, you know, something that, that is going to make you really hot, just carry a scarf with you and try to have something that you can wrap around uh, your bottom half of your body uh, and around your shoulders so that if you find yourself wanting to go into a church, you will be properly dressed. If you find yourself going inside the Pantheon, you will definitely have something to wear so you will not be turned away. You guys, I have lots of other packing videos here on the channel so you can check them out on my playlist right here.